Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today's my lecture is about stages of erythropoiesis. There are different stages of erythropoiesis. Erythropoiesis means origin, development, and progression of red blood cell. Here there are six stages: proerythroblast, early normoblast, intermediate normoblast, late normoblast, reticulocyte, and lastly mature erythrocyte. Let's discuss of this point. At first, proerythroblast. Another name is pronormoblast. Under appropriate stimulation, large number of proerythroblast cells are formed from corniforming unit of erythrocyte stem cell. The cytoplasm is basophilic in nature. Its nucleus is large and occupies the cell almost completely. The nucleus has one or more nucleoli and has a reticular network. Proerythroblast does not contain hemoglobin. It only shows mitosis in a state of stress. Secondly, early normoblast or basophil erythroblast. Once proerythroblast has been formed, it divides multiple time. First generation cells are called basophil erythroblast because they stain with basic dye. The cytoplasm is deeper blue color than the proerythroblast due to mixture of abound free ribosome. This cell is usually smaller and nucleus which is intensely heterochromatic and is centrally located. Nuclei have disappeared. Cells at this time has accumulated very little hemoglobin. That means initiation of hemoglobin synthesis is start here. It show also active mitosis. Then intermediate normoblast. The nucleus is present but chromatin network show further condensation. Here hemoglobin star appear that means fill 34 percent. We know already that cytoplasm is basophilic. Here eosinophil staining gives a polychromatic appearance. So it stain both acidic and basic stain because presence of hemoglobin. So this cell is called polychromatic erythroblast. It also show active mitosis. Number 4. Late normoblast or orthochromatic erythroblast. Here nucleus become very small with very much condensed chromatin as in cartwheel appearance. Finally becoming uniformly deeply stained. Quantity of hemoglobin is increases and cytoplasm become almost acidophilic. So the cell is now called orthochromatic erythroblast. In final stage of late normoblast, just before it passes to next stage, nucleus is extruded via an asymmetric division of cytoplasm and disappear, resulting in the formation of reticulocyte. This process by which nucleus disappear is called pycnosis. The final remnant is extruded from cell and here mitosis ceases. Then reticulocytes. Its another name is immature RBC. It is slightly larger than mature RBC. Here cytoplasm contains reticular network or reticulum which is formed by remnant of disintegrated organelles. Due to this reticular network, cell is called reticulocytes. The reticulum of reticulocyte stain supravital stain. Reticulocyte is vasophilic due to the presence of remnant of disintegrated Golgi apparatus, mitochondria and other organelles of cytoplasm. During this stage, cell enter the blood capillaries through capillary membrane from the site of production by diapedesis. In newborn babies, reticulocyte is 2% to 6% of RBC. That means 2 to 6 reticulocytes are present in every 100 RBC. Number of reticulocytes decreases during the first week after birth. Later, reticulocyte count remain constant at or below 1% of red blood cell. Here are the different stages of erythropoiesis. At last, mature erythrocyte. In mature erythrocyte, reticular network disappears and cell become mature and attain the biconcave shape.
the cell decreases size to 7.2 micrometer in diameter a mature rbc is with hemoglobin but without nucleus this figure shows the all about the erythropoiesis here the side view and the top view of red blood cell with their diameter the whole process lasts about 7 days it's required 5 days up to the stage of reticulocyte and reticulocyte takes 2 more days to become the mature RBC. Through this process, erythrocytes are continuously produced in red bone marrow of large bone at a rate of about 2 million per second in a healthy adult. Here, we want to show you that the different stages of erythrocyte in bone marrow and in blood. Thank you for your patience hearing.